It's time. Time. For the show from men and women who all identify as assholes. Major, major assholes. If it's good, they make it bad. And if it's bad, they make it even worse. Holy shit, how's that possible? So toss her a towel. Call that Uber. It's time to pull out and run. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tasty Tuesday on Pull Out and Run. I'm your host, CJ. Over here to my left, the seductively <laughs> sexy Swebby with the cat ears. Hey, hey. See, that's tough. All right, give me a break here. Over, over to my right, Miss Crystal once again. Hi. Filling in over here. Blast from the past, if you remember us from way back in the day. And uh, Beard. Yeah. Uh, James and Miss Mount of Doom are still slaving away in the basement, cooking away. Pies and turkey, pies and turkey, turkey and pies. Pies and turkey and turkey and pies. Are they going to make like a chicken, like a turkey pot pie? Because that would be, del- I bet that would be really good if she like tried her hand at that. They're Eat. making all of the pot no. pies. No. no. Could you imagine so. though? Like, so once they get like, once we have all the leftovers from the Thanksgiving feast that they're going to just miraculously make, like. Oh, you put the dressing can in Can you there imagine too, like and, just. Uh, turkey dressing, some mac and cheese. Yeah. All in a. Uh, God, move it along. <laughs> I love uh, a savory pie. <sighs> so Sponsors. Well. Sponsors. And acid pills at this point. Uh, Cottonelle toilet paper. Um, oh, <laughs> and Bang I, energy. Thank you. Bang energy. You lost me right there. I'm thinking about wow. a hot pie. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Chicken Pot Pie. Yeah, I'd like to do a podcast. shout out real quick. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do a podcast with a friend of mine. Uh, it's called WTF Bro. Um, just type in WTF, you'll find uh, WTF Bro. You yeah, can I was find say, anywhere. There's probably a lot of WTF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just WTF Bro. You'll 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 see it. Whatever. Highly recommend it. Very entertaining. Indeed. Beard looks so cute on that show. <sighs> Moving it along. How to ask someone on a date. How to go to a museum. How to ask for a raise. How to know which utensil to use at a nice restaurant. And now it's time for the do's. Hey, good job. And don't. Uh, what are you, an idiot? <laughs> on Pull Out and Run. Yes, we are idiots. But we're going to tell you what to do and don't on whatever the heck we're talking about. Do the don'ts. So you find yourself in an earthquake. Oh, hell Not too no. likely over here, but <laughs> one, don't be in California. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Period. Yep. Uh, don't stand underneath the tree because lightning might strike. Do the Harlem Shake. Do the Harlem Shake. <laughs> <laughs> don't that's <Death's> involuntary. <laughs> but sure. I've actually felt a slight earthquake over here. Oh when really? We started getting those like years ago and all that. Oh it, yeah, the it, the visuals. Yeah, when they were uh yeah they, when they were working on that fault line where Texas Stadium for the Cowboys used to be digging in there and everything <laughs> and it started aggravating. Yes, Zelda. Hello. And. Uh, <laughs> It's kind of weird. I mean, maybe I felt an earthquake. Uh, people tell me if I'm wrong. It's like I can feel a rumbling like from the distance, and it just came closer and closer and closer, closer, closer. I felt it underneath me. It just kind of, I can feel it further behind me. It was very weird sensation. Hmm. I mean, granted, it was a light one. It is Texas, but I can only imagine something. God, you know, just California. It's like, oh, yeah, here we are having drinks inside. All right, take, uh, take the beverages to the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> well, you don't want to stay inside, from what I gather, or mm. you have to like get in a door frame, which doesn't make sense because the whole house comes down. I don't think your little ass bathroom door frame is gonna hold all that up. I could be hold, wrong. Yeah, hold up the whole building. It's not gonna hurt. I uh, I probably just like being a tornado. It's just like, all right, throw the mattress over me. <laughs> <laughs> Protect me, mighty mattress. <laughs> that, that's pretty. <laughs> Pretty much all we do over here, there's a tornado. Yeah. I've gotten to the point, it's like, okay, there's an alarm. If I hear a train sound, then I'll roll onto the floor, pull the mattress <laughs> over me. I'm just tired of getting the tub every 20 minutes. Have you seen those ads for the beds that turn into, like, coffins as soon as it detects an earthquake and, like, the doors no. slam and everything? Are you serious? Yes. No, uh-uh. Beard, look this up. There's a whole video of, like, it, the, uh, it opens in the middle, and then as soon as it detects an earthquake, it, like, slams shut. And then there's another one where, like, the middle of the bed drops down, and it drops you into, like, a little chamber. That's rich people stuff. Mm-hmm. There's no way somebody mm-hmm. can afford that. That cannot be comfortable. Um, no. But it, it, water and, Market. like, bottles of water. <laughs> bottles of water and everything <laughs> underneath there. It's, it bottles of water? Yeah, it has, like, uh, like <laughs> survival supplies in the bottom of it. Oh, it's a fallout Like vault. a bunker. Yeah. Like a bunker bed. bed yes. Bunk bed. 
Bunk bed. Bed bunk. If you're bed claustrophobic, bunk. it's your crazy chamber. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> Any luck finding this crap beard? Um, I found something. This I, is I, where I, I go to scream. I've never heard this. Wow. Yeah. What? Mm-mm. I can I can just picture like my arm laying off the side of the bed and like it slams shut and just chops my arm <laughs> oh, off. Oh yeah, it just yeah, it just drops. Yeah. I mean, sometimes <laughs> on the bright side, if you have a small kid, the monsters are coming. All right, we'll just seal the bed. They can't See get ya. in there. <laughs> wow. Here's a jar to pee in. <laughs> if you don't get in bed and lay down, I'm locking you in there for a week. <laughs> Parenting. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that'd be a great excuse to call into work. I, my bed locked me up. I'm sorry. I couldn't get out. <laughs> How? Click on one of those, man. Of course, one of them is .nz. I think that's New Zealand. Sorry, I think See? I think about it. Are like, it, it has it? to have some kind of, like, tracking, to, like, something. So uh, once, it, once you're in the bed and it buries you alive under the weight of your mansion, um, you know, yeah, are, you, this. are you cool? Okay, here we go. Here we go. A whole video. All right. Anti-freak bed. <laughs> just like, just, like, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just a big old bed vagina. Oh no, not that one. That one's like a treasure chest. It's just a box. How? <laughs> so it's but, somehow. Oh no, no, no! That one just no, no. Slap shut. In yeah. The it senses earthquake stuff. Well, wait. I think there's like one that has snacks and stuff. So if you're buried, you can <laughs> last a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There yeah is. There's water. It, and, yeah. yeah. Whoa. But you just pee and soil yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no cor- oh this outlet. was invented in China. Yeah. That makes sense. That way it's easy cleanup when they have a little apartment complex Dude, collapse. That's yeah. a whole apartment in China. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Definitely Japan. I... Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. yeah, how's it uh how's it protect you against tsunamis? Uh. Does it float? That's what I'm saying. Like it, it would does. be, it would be cool if I had like a tracking device or I don't know. Like that's just, it's still creepy. There, there's, I don't think they're done working on this thing. I mean, can we put a rocket on there so it shoots you out of the rubble? <laughs> <laughs> does it have Wi-Fi? Like that's, yeah. these are the real concerns here. How am I gonna watch Pornhub? Because I'm gonna be by myself for a while, trapped <laughs> under rubble. I need some sort of entertainment. And I'm just come out of the sticky cocoon. <laughs> One again. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a face hugger crawling out of the egg. <laughs> how much? That can't be cheap. That's got to be how much yen in China? It could even actually exist. I don't know. I don't know. How, how many uh, Weiger slaves in China does that cost? Five? <laughs> and a liver? You can get them from Wish. <laughs> <laughs> they made out of parker board. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, yeah, I, I could see that. Definitely wish. I, uh, the, I uh, who the hell thought of this? I know it said a guy from China, but Jesus Christ, a lot of that is just scary looking. The way it just swallows you whole. I mean, even one of them looks like an evil treasure chest from Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, 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 I would say, yeah, it's a mimic. I would say don't get this. There's just something, a giant red flag about this. I yeah. would say don't <laughs> get the earthquake-proof bed. Do uh, go outside and scream. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Screaming helps. Or get a water bed. Those are cool. Do they make those anymore? I don't know. the last time you've seen a water bed? But I think like during an earthquake, I think they'd be fun. That's a do in my book. Like, Wee. have a water bed. What if you had a... So would the memory foam remember all the seismic activity? <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Never got a good night's sleep after that earthquake. <laughs> it was all a memory. Now, if they want to make this really accurate, go with like, a, what was it, a Demolition Man and just have a bunch of Taco Bell at Bro. the bottom with your food and everything and all that. Bless. You know? Yes. Bruh. <laughs> I mean, no, you don't want Taco Bell because, ooh. <laughs> you have to shove like a wet dry vac up your butt or something. To get all that out. Sus. Yeah. Don't buy this bed. Do not <laughs> buy this bed. Do not live in California. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is anyway. People are going to move. Yeah, to that's inviting them here. I'm not saying Texas. move here. We got a lot of humidity <laughs> and heat. There, Texas is not that good. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Please. If you're in California, just move into the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, or move to. China.
<laughs> this is Texas. Our our governor is evil Professor X, and you can't oh, have weed. No. <laughs> wow. I need a Mulan. <laughs> Oklahoma, it's legal medicinally. <laughs> Move it along. <laughs> You've tried Fox. You've tried CNN. Now try being poor. They are poor as hell. From nuclear war to OMG, bitch. Did you see what Jennifer Lawrence was wearing? It's time for POAR News. Okay, I heard it right there with the Jennifer Lawrence. Thing. I was, I was, it I, I was doing it. I was doing it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Remix. <laughs> it was you all. Well, no, no, no. Because it still sounds weird to me. I'm going to have to like go back and actually, I don't know if it's translating onto the actual recording. So people everywhere might hear this, or maybe it's just my ears. I don't know. Something sounds weird. I can't figure it out right now. Um, but Man, yeah, I, I'm just gonna keep doing that. Then. Okay. Well, all right. I, I won't. I will never trust my ears ever again. What are we talking about? Um, you know, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, I see that news article. Yeah, we uh, we 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 pulled an audible. People, I'm sorry. Bad. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. I don't, was it this one? Oh, Hell yeah. It is now. Man waking up for 25-year coma, really pumped that The Simpsons is still going on. I don't think he's watched <laughs> 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 what's going on currently. Now, I've heard the recent episodes have been good, but I really haven't watched since season 12. Oh, I guess this was Hollywood. That yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah, I had my things mixed up. Whatever. <sighs> All right, cool. I can actually blame the producer. All right. Well, we're still going to do this anyway. Is that really him? It looks like uh, Dirk Nowinski's uh, <laughs> Wish doppelganger. Does it say how old he is? Because he looks like he's maybe like 28, 30, somewhere in there. So, Well, he's been in a coma since 1996, which, man, that, that was. Yeah. Oh, man, that was some of the glory times for The Simpsons right there. For sure. Uh, oh, my God, this is too good to be true. Jerry Elwood, who suffered severe head trauma in a car accident 20 years, 25 years ago, and it's been a coma up until his surprising awakening yesterday. Da, 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 da. Familiar comforts like great American satire, satire still going strong, surely carrying on its proud. Oh, he's talking about the Simpsons. Can't wait to get home and start catching up. Well, well. yeah. Imagine one day you're watching a favorite TV show at your friend's place. You get in your car to drive home and then you wake up in a hospital and there's hundreds of new episodes. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Jerry. Like 96 so, Jerry. To so he doesn't know about Netflix from... yet and yeah. all the things. I mean, it, mm. yeah. I mean, I mean, you got, you got a good five seasons to watch right there and a pretty decent movie. Yeah. At but, least, at least watch the Halloween episodes. Like they're at, still good. At least Futurama is going to be new to you. Yes. So you have that to look forward to. Definitely. Uh, that I'm jealous of. Family members weren't sure how to best address the later season output of The Simpsons. Oh, so here we go. His family's like, well, Jerry, I really feel like we should warn him, but I don't want to overwhelm him. Scroll down a little bit. Put yourself in his shoes, will you? you just woken up from, 20, from a 25-year year coma. You're learning about smartphones and COVID. Ooh, yeah. Uh, and everything in between. The last thing we need to tell him right now is the greatest show of all time. is uh, Now merely exists as a shelf. It's former self. God. <laughs> wow. His, Jerry's mom. 25 is years of your she's a, life. She's a true fan. True fan there. Well, you know, her son's been in coma for 25 <laughs> years. She's like, she probably pulls no punches. She's straight to the point. <laughs> I've had to wipe this ass for so long. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and I just can't. <laughs> it's going to be like that Simpsons episode where the guy comes out of a coma. It's like uh, in the hospital and the news is there. Sonny and Cher still have that stupid show. Well, <laughs> well, she's won an Oscar and he's in congressman. And he just flatlines. <laughs> <laughs> Or goes back into a coma. That's what's going to happen to this poor guy. Simpsons did it. They, how, they predicted it. They did. Literally. How, how old is this guy? It does not say. So he's, he's been in a coma for 25 years. He looks like he's that, that has almost to be. A, he's got to be in his 30s. That's a stock, stock photo. Because he said he was driving. So he was at least 16. Oh, God. He's a little bit older than me in real life. I... I <laughs> He aged really well. In that bed. is not him. There is <laughs> yeah. no way that is him. Just the, he, I don't even think he'd be able to lift his arms like that from the muscle. <laughs> yeah, legs. yeah. You know? He would be like skinny, skinny yeah. as hell. Yeah, I mean, he's not, he's not the bride. You know, he didn't start out wiggling his big toe. I, man. Wow. 
Oh, yeah, with physical therapy and proper treatment, the physical stuff can be taken care of, no problem, said Dr. Chandler, oversaw Elwood for several years. We will take longer. Okay, then they just talk about the voice cast. I mean, oh, and he's pumped up that he had eight Star Wars movie to catch. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> At least somebody's excited. Oh, oh, he's like, put God. me back in the coma, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to rip the IV out. Yeah. <laughs> if he had the muscle strength. Dude, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, they should be like, hey, do yourself a favor. Stay off the internet for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard Game of Thrones is really good. I can't wait for that final season. (laughs) 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 It came out to like way after 96. So much to catch up. He's going to be so surprised about the vast amounts of internet porn. It's still on there. Wow. After the (laughs) porn hub wipe. Decline, if you will. (laughs) He will get his right arm strength back in (laughs) mere (laughs) days. Like Quagmire, you know, just. One giant arm. Might find some fetishes he never knew about. I mean, I still do this very day. It may not be my thing, but like, I did not know that existed. <laughs> I, I can only, what, what, what would be the one thing I, I could think of being excited for being in a coma for that long, from 1996 until now? Um, the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, Unless I didn't you read the books previously. I did not. I wasn't aware mm. of Lord of the Rings until the movies. Uh, yeah, it would help if we knew if this dude like was a big nerd or not. The Matrix movies? Well, they, there was no concept of them, and, and then you'd be like, wow, Keanu Reeves still looks like Keanu Reeves? All right. Oh, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, it's um, like, I, was, well, I saw him in Speed. This is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Matrix wasn't out until 99. Yeah. yeah. First thing would be, first thing you'd probably say is like, who was just president? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> like how many presidents between then? Oh, and as a Cowboys fan, 1996, it's like, really? That was the last <laughs> Super Bowl win? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he's a sports fan, he's gonna he's be like, really disappointed. <laughs> the Patriots? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he was a Patriots fan. Yeah, the course of he's an NFL fan, it's like, oh, the Lions still suck. At least something's consistent. Moving it along. Hmm. I'm sorry for you, Jerry. It's going to be a rough year for you. It's been a rough year for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen that movie, Miss March? No. It's about a dude that wakes up from a coma after a, co- after a couple years or something like that. And it's, it's, it's a pretty good show. Show or a movie? It's a movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just, I just feel bad for this guy. Are you, are you, are you uh, un-effing your F up? Weird. Not, uh, not, I- not calling you out at all. Yeah, screw you. Know. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was ready. I was just waiting. You guys also doing some levels here because oh, still okay. working on that. But uh, yeah, we can move it along. Let's move it along. Let him up. If you're looking for them to talk nice about your favorite celebrity or movie or TV show, this is not for you. This is Hollywood Should Burn on Pull Out and Run. Before we get to that, I'm seeing this ad for PetSmart. It says exotic dog treats to choose. What the hell is an exotic dog treat? <laughs> so, is that like edible underwear? No, no, no. So I just got a puppy recently, so I've been really looking into like different shoes for dogs or whatnot. But like, it's puppy, hard. Not puppy play. No, not puppy play. But <laughs> um, but yeah, like finding different things for them to chew on right now, like that are like good for them to chew on, like pig snoots and like stuff like that. Like you can't find them because you know obviously things are kind of like messed oh. up right now because of COVID. So. That's what they mean by exotic. So they're not typically exotic, but because everything is so limited, they're considering things like that exotic. So like hooves and antlers and, you know, crap like that. You know, glasses, you know. PlayStation sword. controllers. Yeah. Socks. <laughs> Underwear. Ah, like, underwear. Ah. L- <laughs> not going to get into that. It's stuck in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> This should have been the, going right into animals again. This should have been the news. Chinese goat farmers using facial recognition (laughs) to stop incest. No. Amongst the goats. (laughs) (laughs) I know, it's a very misleading title. (laughs) It's like goat simulator in real life. What do you sit there with a squirt bottle or something? (laughs) Stop it. Could I have found smaller print? It seems even farm animals in China can't avoid being tracked by the latest technology. Huh? 
<laughs> banana virus. Uh, Vert City Farm, based in Shanghai, is now uh, trialing facial recognition technology to stop incest amongst its flock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, okay, I mean, well, I'm sure you don't want that a whole bunch. I mean, I don't know if I've ever eaten in incest lamb. <laughs> Not that I would know. It doesn't say on the package. Uh, Tastes the, fishy. <laughs> I mean, it is gamey. Uh, the the artificial intelligence technology uses a camera to track goats that are housed together that may be related to one another based on color coding. If two related goats start trying to mate, the technology will send staff members to the, oh, no. at the farm updates on their phone so they can put it. <laughs> so they'll like break them up and just be like, oh, girl, I heard that, uh, you know, so-and-so was goats. Okay. Goats are pretty hell? ornery in themselves. I mean, <laughs> God, talk about getting hoofed. Do they do they turn around like dogs and all that and get stuck? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not too uh, familiar with the fortification habits of goats. <laughs> it's uh, it's just like a cow or a horse. They just jump on top of the other one. Well, I'm sure about that. Yes, but and I guess they I like to keep it in the family. Stuck. Keep them in a pen long enough. I mean, it, <laughs> farm animals, rural communities. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of places in those fences where they can get stuck. That is true. Yeah, that I, I've heard about that. It's because they keep trying to back up, and their horns get stuck and everything. Uh, and then they're like, "Help me, step, bro." <laughs> I've quoted Carla many a times, but why does the farmer always, you know, get with the goat on the cliff because it pushes back? <laughs> 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 I had to edit a lot of that. If two related, all right, we already said that the system will improve work efficiency and quality of livestock by eliminating incest-related birth defects. Oh, okay, all right, wow. yeah. Can't have a three-headed veal. Uh, oh, that's cow. Uh, the system tracks each goat's area and weight. I like how they put area in quotes. <laughs> It's like, are you talking about its pen or its orifice? <laughs> Facial recognition, how, can also avoid inbreeding among the goats based on, we are, yes, you, you copy and paste it. Scroll down, please. Too far. Too far. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. Maybe far enough. All right. Keep going. All right. So that's, <sighs> uh, they're going to get some weird people on this job. <laughs> yeah. Just looking at that, just goats on a phone. Like, no, nah, let him go for a little bit longer. He's not going to go yet. I just, you know, daddy need to watch. <laughs> what are you doing, step bro? Oh, my God. That's my sister. Step goats. Bert City Farm is, uh, they provide a stream to staff computers, a camera. It's, are we reading the same thing again? This is what happens when I find something in haste. The camera feed is integrated in artificial intelligence tech that estimates its weight and other factors. <laughs> Color coding, yes, we already know about that. Try, yeah, they did do a lot of copy and pasting. Uh, body shape exercise patterns. As well, well as early signs of disease, including sore mouth <laughs> and diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> It uses infrared to measure each goat's body temperature and can alert staff it rises above 104 degrees. This is, cr I mean, good, but yeah, I mean, if this is what they can just do to goats, imagine what they're really doing with people. <laughs> Area 480. Wait, yeah, that, that, that looks 6. like some uh, looks PlayStation like, <laughs> it looks Metal like Gear goat, Solid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like Goat Simulator or something, dude. It's like this goat's about to get into mischief. This is Mr. Purpley. He, uh, yeah. Female goat. Yeah. Purple, you know, it's, we call this one Thanos. He snaps with his butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> Do these these goats are in China, right? They are in China. Do they have like a social score? Um. <laughs> in this app, that, that they, not yet. Anyway, that's that's they're still so figuring that out on people, and then it go it will go to goats. I I feel like they they could use that to manipulate or like uh train the goats to not do something. Like if you if you mess up in the pen today, you're not getting any for a week. For a week, <laughs> no feed for you. Or they yeah. or this piece of meat is charged more. This goat was very sociable. Look at its social interaction score. It was so nice. <laughs> now eat it. Very friendly, very trusting. And then we just you know air hammered it right in the brain. Nice.
Uh, this system was revealed by Shanghai D- Al- Chinese Alphabet District Government website. South China Morning Post has reported. This is just pretty going, just going on and on. Uh, so, if do we do this for pugs? For pugs? So for pugs. Pugs, don't. pugs, yeah. Make them breathe a little uh, bit easier. <laughs> Have you seen the modified pug? The, 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 the healthier pug? It's still pretty cute. It's still pretty cute. They tried to use it on pugs, but there was not enough facial area for them to measure. Jesus. Oh, no. flat. <laughs> How does facial recognition technology scroll down a little bit? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. China's... Uh, there is something about uh, social rating systems. Uh, the technology da, da, da. within seconds, the system matches and updates the individual pig profile. Whoa, we're moving all around over here, which document details, uh, such as an ID number, breed, birth weight, gender, gender, genetic composition, and other daily activities. China is famous for tracking its citizens. Oh, that's why it says that notably for the latest technology, nobly a black Miller like social rating system to restore morality and blacklist on untru- trustworthy citizens. So maybe they will work that into the goats. Whoa, that's not a goat. That's a person. <laughs> I, so China has so many closed circuit TVs. They're using them for goats now. So that's where we're getting right, with right here. It, I, I I guess with the riots in uh, Hong Kong, I guess they perfected this, and that's why they're moving it to farm animals. I wow. I I don't know. That's that's. That's definitely so. They're scary. using facial recognition to make sure the goats are effing their relatives. Yeah, their relatives. That's, yes, I don't see how that would. Work. I mean, why would you keep them in the same pen after a certain? Time? Yeah, just be like, oh, that goat birth. This is clearly, you know, couple whatever. He's a male, female. After a while, once they get to an age, separate them. Maybe. Maybe. Sell them. Sell. Them. They do. Leave leave the goat farming to the professionals, please. I mean, obviously they have some kind of system, but like still like, yeah, I mean, this has been going on for thousands of years. I don't know if we need technology. I mean, technology to. Yeah, but this is Uh, is the animal testing phase. Yeah. How many defective baby goats do you have to justify this? And then the same way that they like make an entire market of selling like ugly vegetables and fruits. Like, why don't you make a market of being like. Hey, you want to eat this freakish two headed goat? Why not? Like, <laughs> have you seen some of the might the, be delicious the Asian country, uh, you know, YouTube video eating things? Mm. Yeah, just all the noodles and everything. It's, it's like, like double the goat brain. Like, you know, this sounds like a win win to me. I'm... Somebody's gonna <laughs> eat it. I mean, they're, <laughs> they're eating pangolins. Give them a friggin' retard. Uh, sorry, pangolins. Pangolin. You know, Angolins. give 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 them a defective goat baby. You just dropped a hard R. I did. Unbelievable. I know. Hang well, alone. Very retarded of me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's end it. <laughs> <laughs> we are available. Actually, Swebby, go ahead, read us out. We're available on Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Tune In with Alexa, Google Podcast, Pocket Cast, Player FM, Podcast Index, Deezer, Stitcher, Podcast Attic, Pod Chaser, Listen Note. And Rumble! Yes, this has been Tasty Tuesday. Uh, tune in tomorrow. We're here for Run Radio for... You're right. Whap, whap, whap. Wednesday. Wednesday. Thank you. I'm still unsure myself. <laughs> I thought I was going to say something racist again. All right, see you tomorrow. Adios.